It's barely been a month since I released this video about why I am buying Vici properties and we already have just huge huge news about this growing casino slash experiential entertainment REIT. On August 4th, which was actually my 29th birthday by the way, Vici Properties announced that they were buying fellow gaming REIT MGM Growth Properties LLC, ticker symbol MGP, for a total consideration of $17.2 billion. This acquisition will absolutely create a massive $45 billion enterprise with billions of dollars of prime real estate in Las Vegas. Hey guys, this is Nick with Nick Does DGI and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be going over the major points of this acquisition and why I continue to be extremely bullish on Vici. I hope you find some value out of this video and if you would like to support this channel, I appreciate you clicking that like button and that subscribe button. Let's get into it. For this video, I'll be referencing this presentation titled Strategic Acquisition of MGM Growth Properties, which you can find directly from Vici's website. Let's talk briefly about the numbers. There is a total consideration of approximately $17.2 billion and the assumption of $5.7 billion dollars of MGP's debt. At the close of transaction, MGP Class A shareholders will receive Vici stock at a fixed exchange ratio of 1.366 shares, which represents an agreed upon price of $43. And this transaction is expected to be accretive to AFFO per share upon closing with minimal need to increase Vici's standalone expenses. For instance, thanks to the nature of triple net leases, which if you remember that the tenant pays for property taxes, insurances, and maintenance expenses, Vici's only had 447 employees last year, yet they currently own 28 properties and receive over $1.5 billion in cash rent, which only continues to grow year after year. Vici has a proven track record of success. Since its 2018 IPO, Vici has managed to double adjusted EBITDA in a span of three years from $722 million to $1.55 billion in 2021 and expect a $2.55 billion after closing this deal. In doing so, Vici will become one of the largest publicly traded REITs alongside Simon Property Group, Realty Income, Public Storage, and many others. Guys, just take a look at the far most right table. Notice how Vici is the only one without a star next to its name. The stars here indicate whether that company is a S&P 500 constituent. As of right now, Vici is actually not a member of the S&P 500 index, but this deal will significantly increase the likelihood of being added onto the index. This will in turn drive institutional demand in Vici shares as ETFs and funds rebalance their portfolios and have to buy Vici shares accordingly. Before we move on to the characteristics of NGP and to a lesser extent MGM, we have to talk about the D word, debt. Let's be clear, Vici will be assuming $5.7 billion of MGP's existing debt. However, Vici will be receiving $860 million in starting current rent with favorable rent increase escalators built in. During years 2 to 10, there is a fixed 2% annual rent increase, which is on par with the long-term rate of inflation. In years 11 plus, there is a greater of 2% or CPI capped at 3%. And the master MGM lease expires in 2047 with three 10-year extension options. So what properties does MGP have in its portfolio? Quite a lot actually. You have seven premier Las Vegas resorts, including Park MGM, MGM Grand, The Mirage, and Mandalay Bay, as well as eight regional assets elsewhere. In a snapshot, MGP holds the following, 32,000 hotel rooms, 1.5 million square feet of casino space, 750 plus acres, and 3.3 million square feet of convention space. Two of the largest five hotels in the United States, two of the largest three Vegas uh, resorts by room count and convention space, and four Diamond AAA awarded resorts. MGP is backed by a first-class and iconic tenant with a strong finance profile, MGM. MGM has a market cap of $18 billion with $12.9 billion in annual revenue with a diversified mix of U.S. regional, Las Vegas, and Macau properties. 
And MGM operates BetMGM, a leading digital gaming platform with an expected $1 billion of net revenues in 2022, with the potential to gain substantial market share in the $32 billion long-term total addressable market. With this acquisition, Vici's portfolio will now span across 43 properties and in 15 states and this map explains it all. You have this ginormous cluster of prime Las Vegas properties that are highly rated and sought after. Then you have several regional properties across the Midwest and East. Other large metropolitan populations include Chicago, New York, New Jersey, and Maryland. I love this geographic and tenant diversification and I'll tell you why. Pre-transaction, Caesars Entertainment currently makes up 68% of total tenant rent, which is understandable because Vici was initially spun off from Caesars a few years back. But with this transaction, you will see a more diversified tenant rent base. That 68% will drop down to 41% and MGM Resorts will make up another 40% of tenant rent. Furthermore, following the transaction, Las Vegas will be about 45% of total tenant rent and the remaining 55 collections in other regional markets. While Las Vegas is by and large the casino entertainment capital of the country, I find comfort knowing that they have some collectible tenant rent that can be spread across multiple regional markets and lessen the impact should God forbid something happen to Las Vegas. And with that, let's focus on Las Vegas for the remainder of this video. The iconic Las Vegas Strip is one of the most well-known tourist destinations of this country. I'm from Southern California, so I'm only a few, a few hours drive away, and Vegas is a very popular destination among my peers for music festivals, bachelor slash bachelorette parties, conferences, or simply a place to gamble some money away. This following image of the strip is rotated so the right is actually the south side and the left is north bounding. You can see in the highlighted blue of Vici's existing properties including the Venetian Resort, Haraz, and Caesars Palace. But look at everything to the south in orange. These are all prime Las Vegas strip properties that Vici will be acquiring. Upon completion of this transaction, Vici will own 660 acres across the Las Vegas Strip. Over the years, I personally stayed at the Venetian, Caesars Palace, MGM Grand, and Mandalay Bay. This new and approved Vici properties will quite literally own a large piece of Las Vegas, and I can't wait to see what this REIT has in store. Last but not least, Vici Properties also announced a dividend increase of 9.1%, which translates to $0.36 cents per share quarterly, representing an annualized amount of $1.44. With this new annualized dividend, this amounts to a 4.77% dividend yield as of this time of recording. Although Vici has only been public for only three years, we have already seen generous dividend increases. Vici raised its dividend by 17.29% in 2019 and 7.26% in 2020 during the midst of the pandemic. Add on top the 9.1% dividend increase for 2021 and you have a top-notch REIT that continues to just grow its real estate portfolio and provide real returns for its shareholders. I have listened to Vici's CEO Ed on several conference calls and I just love the direction that he is leading Vici on and the enthusiasm that he shows for the line of work. Please note that this video is not intended as financial advice, nor am I a financial advisor. Past performance is no guarantee of future results, and please take the information with a grain of salt. Please do your own research and due diligence when deciding to invest in investable securities. If you found this video helpful, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing to my channel. Hit the bell notification to receive an alert on all the latest videos. The YouTube algorithm likes these sorts of engagements and helps my channel get shown on more homepages. Until next time, take care.